Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Righteous Randy. Today we're going to be learning how to grow potatoes from to potato. <laughs> Today we're going to be learning how to grow potatoes from potatoes. But first, let's go and see how that spaghetti squash is doing that we did in episode two. As you can see here, this spaghetti squash is taking off. It looks like it's going to take over this whole spot and it's going to crawl all up and be everywhere. And hopefully within a few weeks, we'll start to see some vegetables coming out. The first thing we're going to do when trying to grow these potatoes is we're going to put our table scraps into a pot to kind of make a compost on the bottom there so that the compost will sit at the bottom then the soil and then the potatoes and then more soil so what i did here is put some ordinary table scraps uh cucumber shavings oranges scraps of paper even got a little broccoli in there as well what we're going to do now is we're going to put some dirt to go on top of the compost the compost will give us something nice and meaty at the bottom to create nutrients and help these potatoes grow along. Now you really don't need too much dirt here, just enough to kind of cover this compost. A very, very thin layer here. Want to make sure that everything that's composting is going to be pushed down as far as possible. And just have this thin little layer of dirt here. That'll about do it. Now, as you notice, these potatoes here, I left in the bag for a while so that they get some spuds coming out of them. That's really important. And we're just gonna kind of take each potato and lay it down in that layer. Now, what we're gonna do is put these potatoes down and cover as much of this base as we can. As you see, these spouts are coming out real nice. I left these, I left these in the closet for quite some time in a bag uh, with the rest of the potatoes. You don't need to put them out in there or anything. In fact, they do better sitting inside the bag. That looks about right, right there. And then our last step, it is, we're just gonna cover these bad boys on up. What we wanna do is cover them up to around the top of this pot right here. This pot that I'm using is a 16 inch pot. You can get these at your local hardware store. You can go bigger if you want to, if you wanna do more potatoes. But 16 inches is about the minimum I would recommend for doing this. There we go. And we're just going to fill this on up here. Did it, do, 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 do. I tend to uh, get a little impatient when I'm gardening. Some people have all the patience in the world, but me, I like to do it fast. I like to do it the relatively easy way. I like to work smart. I don't like to work too, too hard. I got many other things to do. So what we're going to do is just get this on filled up as fast as possible here. And we're almost there. You want to remember that these potatoes, they're going to spud uh, completely out. And you're going to know that everything's going well when you start to get some plants coming out. What's going to happen is each potato is going to make a plant that's going to grow up to about this high. And once that plant comes up, you're going to wait until that plant dies. When that plant is dead, then you're going to dig in here and you're going to harvest all your potatoes. It's a camera. And there you have it from my backyard to yours. That's how you grow potatoes from potatoes. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you love the episode, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'm Righteous Randy signing off. Thank you so much.